Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. What girl? She had blue hair, dressed like a punk. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. I'm not cool enough for this school. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Since I got here. Max, are you okay? Your face looks so serious. Uh, I know. I'm I'm not in party mode tonight. You look like you're on a secret mission. This is where it's going to end. For Rachel's sake. Well, if you want to hang out with Brooke and me, we're here for you. Thanks, Daniel. I have to stay on my mission now. I hope you stay on yours and become a great artist. Well, I'll be celebrating yeah, someday in the museum, Max. Adios. Are Daniel and Brooke flirting? Right on. Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub and his club. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex Club. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? No, but we're going to map out our drive-in date later. I was just talking to Daniel about a road trip next week to the Portland Art Museum. Oh, that is so cool. He needs a friend. I bet Daniel will be a great museum guy. I'm more into science than art, but... What kind of a selfish fangirl would miss a Miyazaki exhibition? You're not selfish, bro. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Energy drinks, so uh, energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. There's Courtney drinking alone with 
without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. I just wish full days. I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? I want to make sure he's not gonna do, do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. Oh wait, I did see Nathan today. Nurse in a busted face. I had dreams that somebody finally kicked his ass. Well, Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Warren gave him an epic beat now. Yes, give it up for Brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. That'll be hard to do when the Prescotts own the town and the Vortex Club. I call it the Vortex Cult. Look at this crap. Dress code? VIP section? Elitist bullshit. Preach it, Brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. Oh, thank you for helping Kate. And for keeping it real. Peace out. Kidding me? Oh shit! Alyssa! Are you okay? Yes! I just got tagged by a water weenie and fell in the pool. I'm great. I guess I can't expect you to warn me like you did last week. Alyssa shake that booty. I'm surprised to see you here. Look at this. I'm at my first and only Vortex Club party. I know. This week was so shitty that I just wanted to be around a bunch of people trying to have a good time. Even if I hate most of them. Victoria doesn't seem to hassle you like she does me. Or Kate. She must know I punch her in the face. I probably should just for Vortex Club posterity. I'm surprised that Blackwell is having a party after Kate almost jumped off a roof. I guess people are happy that Kate is okay now and we can party again. I'm just happy she's drawing again. She seems much better and her mother is being so supportive for a change. Kate deserves that. I saw that the video got taken down, so I, I hope nobody posts it anywhere else. Is that naive? Look how fast people here forgot about Kate. They'll find some new Blackwell drama and forget about her video. So it goes. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck.
Thanks again, Max. Now I can enjoy this shitty party. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Yes, you do suck. Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only, okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list, okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? Courtney, how are you? Max, our guests are arrived fashionably late. <laughs> Say bonsoir to the end of the world. Even though you flaked on my party makeover, you still get special access to the Vortex Club VIP lounge. You better let your minion know since she won't let me pass. Oh, that little asshole just made her last mistake. She thinks she's Victoria. <laughs> bye bye now, let's go make an official VIP entrance, Max Factor. <laughs> Get it? Hey, Sarah. Um, do you know that I've personally put Max's name on the list? So, you like decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> you're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just... Uh, oh my god, you're done! And you're off the list permanently. Welcome to the Vortex Club. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? Hey, Max. What are you doing in here? Apparently, Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. Not anymore. Justin's just a little buzzed. Yo, Maximum Overdrive, about time you got here to save this lame rave. Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. I'll and not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. She's not with me. So yes, this party sucks. You're obviously not cool with Trevor dating Dana. I tried to front like I was. But when I saw them together, he came over to cry like a little bitch. No, it's, it's more like somebody who's in pain. I'm sorry, Justin. But you're a cool, considerate guy, and you're gonna find somebody just as cool. Just minus the drama. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. I'm not in the mood, but still, this could be an interesting shot. No, seriously, I'm 
out of here. Oh, and everything isn't so fuzzy. The tide is turning. I'd like to tear every one of these things down. Chloe must be around. Hello? Can you please hurl and flush already? Oh, yes. Gross. How did this even hour. get here? Good night, sweet prince. Maybe you're not the only one who has to get sick. Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Coming in, sister. Or both. Ugh, Max. is the Vortex Club, so his ass has to be here tonight. She's wasted and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody learns at Blackwell. Is A bomb. Give me a break. Surprise, Hayden is trashed. He would dose his own drink first before anybody else's. What's up, Hayden? Oh, look. Up in the sky, it's Supermax here to save the party. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some dank OG buds, so I can barely see you. Or are these hotties next to me? No thanks. Come on. I would kill to see you baked. Get that stick out of your ass. You need to get high more than anybody I know. Next to me. Not this week. So, has anybody here seen me? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or you can sit down and take a quick hit. What about Victoria? Ah, go ask her yourself. I would, but like I said, I'm fucking ripped. Maybe you better take a visit to me. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? You see, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready. Taylor really shows her vortex club spirit. Max, look at you go, girl. Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting like too buggy and kind of sick. Victoria might know. What does Victoria say about him? She blows it off, but Vic is close with me. They're more like brother sister, or something. She really cares about him. Is this why you want to be in a vortex club? No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dosed at the last vortex club party by Nathan. So you should avoid any drink here tonight. Trust me, I won't even drink my own water when Nathan is around now. He's a pharmacy simulator. I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. That oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binges. Chips and crackers. Spare no expense, Vortex Club. So the Vortex VIPs get real alcohol at their underage bar. Again. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? No, Logan, you're not getting any action tonight. Or even a dance. Logan, can I talk to you for a second? Max, all right. 
I'll talk after you shake that booty for you. Oh, no. Have you seen Nathan? I can't even get Victoria or Taylor to twerk. And you want to hang with Nathan? Why? Business. He should talk to his dad then. Bro has got more money than God, and he spends it on the Vortex Club, not the losers over there in the cheap seats. Logan, this is a swimming pool. In other words, you haven't seen this Ask Victoria. She always knows where he is. Don't you ever want this? You're so cute. You never really talk. Talk about what? The next Bigfoot's game. We could go out to the field and I could show you some moves. Maybe a touchdown. Logan, don't make me Damn. That was way more exciting than the dance. Catch you later, Max. Here's the clean Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I don't blame you, Victoria, but you know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. Then we had some wine and got stupid. It's more than stupid. It's mean. Hateful. Kate never did anything to you. And that didn't stop you from taking one last video of her on the roof. I deleted that from my phone. Maybe I'm not her friend, but I didn't get off on Kate attempting suicide. I'm not evil, Max. I believe you, Victoria, but I don't understand you. That makes both of us, Max. I always feel like I have to overcome For what, I have no clue. I'm only here to become a photographer, not president. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way. And he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either. That's the choice you make. Hard to believe. But I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fate we're not supposed to be friends? Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision, that would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did throw the place at that party, but you can take her from dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. 
To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him and stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time and I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I warned her. I hope she's okay. You dance worse than my dad. Yes, so can you so I heard the That son of a bitch is not here. Where are you, Nathan? I better get Chloe. Oh, that makes me want to pull a carry on the Vortex Club. Kate almost dead. Rachel dead. <laughs> Enter the Vortex Club. Look at these entitled assholes. They don't give a shit about anybody. If that tornado came right now, I would just sit here and watch for a while. But I have to make sure Chloe doesn't go on her own rampage. <sighs> I hate feeling this way. Dark and angry. Zachary, if you mess with Juliet, I will kick your balls on a loop. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? She better be careful so he doesn't pull any revenge for her or something. I love that Trevor doesn't care how goofy he dances in the VIP section. I'm glad Dana ended up with Trevor. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. <laughs> He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be safe. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, rich and rich and a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. The Vortex Club actually hired DJ Doom for the party. Oh good, Chloe's here. Well, she obviously didn't find Nathan. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it. Oh, uh... Hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a uh, mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. But I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the... 
uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, and I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about it. You were so hot. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. <laughs> she is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. No. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. You have to be quiet. We could die, okay? Come on, come on. Nathan needs to die now. Look, we can't track Nathan if you're not going to be cool. If you're yelling, please. Look, she's still there. 
Don't look, Chloe. Oh, no. 